This is a Logitech uh, TrackMan. It's the model M570. The left mouse button is no longer working right. It either triple clicks, doesn't click, and I recently found out that the switch in here has a part number on it and you can buy the individual switch. I found the switches on eBay. Uh, they were about a dollar each. So I'm going to show today how to take this apart. This is going to require soldering to get that new switch in. But it's relatively easy to take this apart. The first thing you have to do is remove the rubber feet. This one you don't have to remove since the screw is right next to the rubber foot. But the rest of the rubber feet need to uh, come off. So you can get to the screws. And there's a small Phillips in there, so you're going to need a small Phillips driver to get those screws out. I won't show up removing all these screws, but we'll come back after I have it apart. Also, the last screw requires taking the battery out, and there's a sticker in here. You're going to have to remove the battery sticker because underneath the battery sticker is the final screw to get this apart. So I'll be back after I have the screws all out. Okay, all the screws are out. There's a total of five screws that you have to find on the bottom. Next step is obviously remove the ball. When you pull this apart, there's a ribbon cable in there, so it's important to make sure the ball section stays on the bottom of the mouse. This is completely separate. There's only plastic up here. There's nothing we're going to do up here to repair this. So just be careful. There is a little ribbon here. Just, just leave that where it is. The switch that is defective is this switch right here. This is the one that's uh, flaky. And the nice thing is there is a part number on there, and I was able to find it in a Logitech form, what the actual part number is. So I'll be showing that part number later. So the next step is going to be removing the circuit board and all the components, because we need to get the board out of there to be able to uh, unsolder that switch. All right, so there's one, two, three, four screws. There's a little battery spring here that's going to come out with this. Not much we can do about that. So just unsnap that from the plastic. And now the bottom is disconnected. Okay. So this switch here is this guy. There's three prongs that are going to have to be desoldered. It's also important to note that the switch is not in the center. So when we put the new switch in, we have to remember that the switch goes towards the right. Because you can see it's more towards the right than it is to the left. Now when you unsolder the switch, depending on what you have in your soldering tools, I use a desoldering um, pullet. This is a little vacuum. You push it in and it allows you to suck the solder out. It's very convenient. You can also use a bulb. They make these little inexpensive solder bulbs that have a Teflon tip like this one does and you can suck the solder. Okay, I also had a third hand to help me hold the circuit board. Okay. All three are unsoldered. I'm sure it's not going to fall out, though. As usual, the solder will stick to the board still. Sometimes you have to rock them a little bit to get them loose.
And remember, the switch goes forward. Now the replacement switches, number is too, probably too small for the camera to pick up, but this is the part number you're looking for, D2FC-7N. Uh, DigiKey also sells them, but I think it's easier just to buy some on eBay. And I paid a dollar each for these with free shipping. They were actually sold in a five pack. I've had a couple of these go bad and instead of having to buy a whole new track man, I can now just buy the switch and easily replace it. Okay, so as I said, remember put the switch forward on the board. Okay. Okay, that's it. We've got it soldered in. Now we can put this mouse back together. Okay, when putting this back together, I accidentally uh, bumped the uh, switch out. This is the switch that turns it off on the bottom. The uh, end that sticks out on the switch goes towards the battery compartment. It might fall out on you also when you take it apart. That's the on-off switch. Okay. I think the tricky part it might be just getting the spring back in for the battery. There's quite a few bends in that spring. not be able to do this with the camera. We'll see. Alright, that's not so bad. You just have to make sure you line up that metal spring for the battery in the battery compartment and the front part will then snap right into place with, with no uh, tricky issues. Now we want to screw in this top board. And actually, a good thing to notice, there's two different types of screws. This has a round head on it, and it has a certain bubble effect to it, where the other screws, as you can see, are much flatter. This is the screw that's for the bottom of the mouse when we first take it apart. I didn't properly separate them, so I got mixed in. So look for the screws that are very flat. Those are the ones that are going to hold the circuit board down. This is the first time I'm doing this, so I didn't prepare myself in advance. This will be nice if this works, because for a dollar to get this mouse working again is a lot better than paying $25 or $30. So final screws on the circuit board, one, two, three, four, four screws. Now we can put it back together. This ball sits in a couple of slots. I'm sure the camera's not going to pick it up because it's all black. It 
doesn't really lock into place, so you're just going to have to try it. There's a slot here and a slot here. Make sure those two are in the slots and it does not sit in there too well, so you will have to just hold it in place while you get the top on. Okay. Now we'll put the rest of the screws back in. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So you have five screws to put back in. That's it. Make sure your switch moves for the on off. And we're ready to go test this. Okay, this was a success. The mouse button clicks correctly. It doesn't triple click anymore or not click. It properly responds. I found that when I put the trackball back in, it had a rough movement to it. I did not get this cup aligned correctly. You do not have to take the mouse apart to get that lined up. Just take your finger, push it around the edges, and you'll hear a distinct click and that gets it in the proper spot and then when you put the ball in, the ball has a nice uh, feel to it. So if you have a problem after you put it back together, I would try just working your thumb around that cup and it should be able to get that thing to seat correctly. So once again, the part number for this switch is D2FC-7N. They're about a dollar on eBay and you can also get them from DigiKey. And it's a great $1 fix instead of spending uh, $25, $30 to buy a new one of these guys.